one of the best parts about being in business for ourselves is that we get to work on exactly the things that we want to work on. But one of the unfortunate parts of business is we spend a lot of time working on exactly the things we want to work on. And because of that, there's a lot of stuff that goes on in a business that as we're working on things that are great and exciting to work on, we can overlook. One of those things is what are we spending our money on? especially in the modern digital age when we have subscriptions, software as a service, things that we our credit cards get charged monthly or our bank accounts get charged monthly. It's really easy to overlook that we're spending money on expenses that we're no longer using the product or service for and we're just getting charged over and over again for it. So that's one of the first areas I would look at in your finances of what are you overlooking here? What are the things you're not using anymore? Stop paying for them. The other side of that coin is sometimes we're spending time doing things we don't need to be doing anymore, doing things that aren't moving the needle on making our business better because we committed to we committed to tracking a certain metric. We committed to showing up to a certain event uh, over and over again, a regular event, and it's just not moving the ball for us. It's not moving the needle on growing our business. And so evaluating where you're looking, where you're spending your money, and where you're spending your time, it's really easy to overlook that we're not spending them in the right places. And so that's the first thing I would really do an audit of is where are we spending our money in our business? Where are we spending our time? And is it the stuff that's making us, helping us move the needle on the business and helping it grow in a positive direction? Another thing that we often overlook as business owners is we don't keep doing that market research over and over again. We do the market research when we start our business. We know our target market is there. We know they're interested in our initial product or service, but it's important to keep doing that market research, getting feedback from our current customers, and looking for ways we can bring in new customers with new products and services so that we can keep growing our business and have a, a growing stable of things that we offer. If we want to grow a business, we have to be able to keep offering new things to people to keep them coming back. Uh, just just offering what we've always offered is really going to be diminishing returns if we want to grow our business. And finally, the thing that gets overlooked, especially as business, businesses start, to grow, start growing and they start getting a ton of new business from new customers, is going out and doing that business development, looking for those new customers, going out and expanding your reach, finding those new customers to bring in. It's really easy to get caught up serving our current customers doing a great job for them, that's really important. But what happens over time, if we're not continually looking for those new customers to come in, to be, to be part of our business, as those old customers move on, especially if we're not offering something new like we talked about, those old customers move on and we don't have any new customers in the pipeline to replace them. So we really wanna focus on making sure that we're always looking to bring in new customers while we're still doing a great job serving our our existing customers. So those three areas, where are we spending our money, our time? What are we offering new? How, what are we offering to keep our current customers and bring in new customers? And then what are we doing to actually bring in those new customers? Those are the three areas that get most often overlooked, especially as a business starts growing and we start trying to do really excellent service for our customers.